is this a big deal? So they cut the rating agency, just follows Moody's and cuts it. We know there's a debt problem. We do, Francine, and actually I can't believe you guys even report what rating agencies do anymore. These are notoriously lagging indicators. They're the last ones to know anything. Uh, you know, there's a fire in the room and uh, everybody's left the room and they say, I think the smoke detectors are going. Uh, China has a debt problem. China has talked very uh, directly and explicitly about its debt problem uh, for a number of years. Uh, you can be critical of China for not having um, uh, moved aggressively uh, to uh, force its state-owned enterprises to delever. This is a big issue that's being debated inside of China right now. They've set up a financial stability committee government-wide, state council-wide, uh, managed by the, the president, Xi Jinping. Uh, they've, they've hiked their um, uh, domestic interest rates to uh, ad address this. They have uh, made some uh, personnel changes in uh, the regulatory area, and they're likely to um, uh, appoint a new central banker who's very focused on financial stability. So this is not new news. This is old news. Uh, and um, uh, the, you know, the S&P, I think, is maybe the last one to figure this out. Yeah, but because of you know, the way that markets are, are trading and because of algorithms, there could be, and, and I'm, I don't know if it's true, but there could be some market reaction. No? Does the headline not cross and actually algorithms sell off a yuan or something like that? You know, um, there's, there's more, more to sort of try to decipher this um, move than to try to figure out the latest uh, algorithmic uh, uh, response. Fair. Uh, the, the, the big point to make on China and debt is that China has the largest reservoir of saving in the world. So it owes its debt to itself. 